All right, so let's cover the install that I currently have on a five kilowatt Vivor diesel heater. I'll, I'll take you through the whole install here, but I just want to show you a couple of things that I've learned over the past few weeks while installing this. And um, admittedly, all of this knowledge comes from watching YouTube videos like you are right now. <laughs> uh, it's a great, great way to get, get information on current stuff. Um, there's a, a guy in Australia, uh, John um, Mack. I'm going to put a link to him in all of my videos on, on diesel heaters because he really covers this stuff in depth, uh, takes the heaters apart, shows the theory of operation. I really appreciate uh, the work he's done. So I, I just want to give you a tour of what I've done and then talk about some of the, the things I've done to make things better or safer, which pretty much covers all the things that he talks about as well. So anyway, uh, first of all, the exhaust. I've seen variations of people running the exhaust inside their workspace that's a big no-no you, you definitely don't want to run the exhaust inside uh, you want it outside I've seen some people running the muffler inside to another exhaust pipe that goes outside that's something you don't want to do either but I, I want to talk about a couple of the modifications I've made um, to the existing system at, as it arrived to me from Amazon uh, first of all these O clamps, they call them uh, Jubilee clamps over in England, by the way, and, and Australia, um, which is not a name I'd heard before, even though I was spent a couple years in England. I guess I, I didn't see these then. Anyway, um, these are what they give you to attach the exhaust and the intake. Now, for the intake, I think they're okay. For the exhaust, uh, definitely do not like. And when the exhaust goes on the heater, uh, this is supposed to go over the um, exhaust pipe and then you you cinch it down but what happens here is that this creates a flat spot and then that flat spot could be an area where exhaust leaks out so I don't like these clamps I opted to get these clamps off of Amazon and I'm not going to put a link in the description I don't do uh, affiliate links on Amazon but I like these because they are round all the way around and they fit better and when they clamp, they create a more round seal around the thing that they're clamping. So I, I like these better. They come with a, a wrench. I think you get four of them and four of the clamps and the wrench for like eight bucks or something like that. Um, just make sure you get the right size. And I, I wish I could tell you the right size, but I forgot. Um, measure the pipe and then you'll see that when you, when you get the clamp. Anyway, these again seem to provide a more consistent round clamping and I, I like them a lot better they provide a better seal in addition to the clamp I use muffler cement when I hook up the exhaust um, I put the muffler cement around the pipe and then I slide the pipe up over it and then, then clamp it with this clamp and it provides a really good seal I am not concerned at all with the exhaust getting out into my workspace area so um, those few tips I think are, are worthwhile now outside and I'm going to show you my setup outside briefly I'll just take the camera out there I've got this muffler going into the pipe outside and I've got one of these clamps on it we're outside if it leaks a little more outside big deal no no uh, no big deal we want the exhaust outside speaking of which you want the exhaust outside and again I've seen people running them inside another thing is this muffler you want outside and you want the weep hole of the muffler down so that any condensation that comes out the pipe is going to go out that hole. That said, you want the entire orientation of your exhaust pipe going downward. I've seen people run them under the unit and then back up and then out the wall and that's going to create an area where the condensation can form at the bottom of the pipe and ultimately destroy the pipe because it is corrosive. So you definitely want the exhaust pipe oriented down all the way out, all the way outside into the muffler with the weep hole pointed down. So as you can see, there's a weep hole and there's a couple of other small holes. This is not an airtight unit. You don't want this inside your workspace. All right, uh, the air intake. I used one of these on it. You could use one of the other um, 
clamps if you want. Actually, I think on this one I did use one of the other clamps. It's not that critical that it's perfectly airtight because you're sucking in combustible air with this. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I used one of these round clamps down here. So for for this pipe, I I think I I think I used one of the one of these on the install here. We'll see in a second. I don't quite remember. Um, this clamp would work fine, and this clamp would work fine for the air filter portion of this. Now, this isn't really an air filter per se. It's just a thing to keep stuff out of this pipe. It doesn't filter the air, but it will keep the uh, bigger stuff from going in there. And actually, these holes are pretty big, so I guess a bug could find its way in there and find its way into the intake of your diesel heater, which would be bad for the bug and maybe maybe gum up everything inside I'm not sure um, perhaps you could put a little piece of screen inside there to prevent that from happening all right so let's take a closer look at the install I have going so here's my exhaust setup now I set this up this winter um, I wasn't able to move my log splitter so I put this uh, vehicle ramp in front of it to protect the pipe uh, protect the hydraulic pipe from getting blasted by hot diesel fumes, but that's my that's my outtake and you can see that the exhaust is screwing downward and the weak hole is on the ground and I've got a double insulated pipe with ceramic blanket on the inside to prevent the wall from getting hot. Alright so let's take a look at the setup for the install that I have right now. This is the heater unit, and I did have an all-in-one unit here, but I've opted to go with this uh, Vivor um, unit that's supposed to go in the vehicles. I like this one better. The all-in-one unit had some issues, which I'll cover. Um, let's talk about the hookup underneath here. So I've got the exhaust pipe with the new improved clamp, and you can see that for the fuel line, I'm not using the fuel line that came with it. I'm using a fuel line kit that has the small link linking pieces with it the rubber pieces and it's a nylon fuel line i like that better and then i've got i do have that clamp on the air intake so we've got air intake fuel and exhaust and as you can see this is oriented downward and going outside at a downward slant so that any condensation in that pipe can go outside now I, i've seen some people they've done some experiments with working on capturing some of the heat from the exhaust and the exhaust is definitely very warm but I just feel like I want my exhaust outside as soon as possible and I don't want to mess around trying to capture any additional heat from that. Uh, I've got the air intake over there sitting up on the bench and um, some people have said oh you need to get the combustible air intake from outside into the chamber and then have it go out. Um, this is a 20 foot by 40 foot garage with a 10 and a half foot ceiling. It is insulated, fairly well built. I'm pretty certain it's not airtight and I'm not really too concerned about using up any of my, uh, my breathable air with that pipe. I think, I think we're okay. Um, and it would require an extra penetration through the wall to get air in here. So anyway, I'm good. Uh, I've got the fuel filter going into the fuel pump over there. might be wondering looking at this on the bench well how do you get fuel in there this is actually mounted on a hinge and I can just open that up crack this open and add fuel as needed all right cool so to power this I'm using a switching power supply and one thing I wanted to point out about the switching power supply I showed in an earlier video how to hook up one of the 
piece is that there is a fan on it and it's actually never come on because this has never gotten that warm uh, but you want to make sure that the fan hole is open and that the vents at the top are open so that the air can pass through it again i haven't had any issue with the uh, fan or this thing heating up it's not even mildly warm to the touch so good to go um, all my wiring is tucked in the back there and zip tied and out of the way and right over here is my controller unit and that's about it for this install i think i've covered everything i wanted to cover uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the install